Okay, all classes begin. Good evening, everyone. Bird. Today, uh, the topic is about enter and exit skills of indicators. So today, we, I will talk about the different indicators because last time we learned the OBV and the William indicator. So today, I will teach you how to use uh, ISI and uh, how to use KDJ and how to combine KDJ with MACD to catch some good opportunity, uh, catch some buy, good buy and sell point. Okay. So firstly, let's see the market. I use KDJ to judge the market because we know we all know that KDJ can help us to judge the periodical high point and low point. If you see the J line below 50, below 20, and uh, go up, which means the market may have some rebound. Then we can see here. Here the market is rebound. Here rebound again. Here rebound again. If the market always rebound when one the J line go up. So we can see recently the J line still up. So now this is the short term rebound. Okay. So if you see the J line go up and go down again, you should prepare for selling. So this is the J line, and we can see which point is the good buy point. If you use KDJ to judge, then if we see the J line upward across the D and the uh, K line and the D line, which means this is the buy point. Then if you see the dead cross, this is the sell point. Then buy point is the sell point, buy point is the sell point. If you use this method to catch the buy and the sell point, you can earn some small profit. Okay, so this is the market. Recently we know that the market is still in sideways because the high point is lower while the low point is higher. So the market is still in sideways. So we should know, recently the market just covered the previous gap. So the market then the cover the uh, previous gap again. So you should remember where is the support and resistance. So let's see this indicator. This indicator is called deviation expert, which can help us to judge the top deviation or bottom deviation. If we see the market belongs to top deviation, we should uh, sell for avoiding short risk. Then if we see the bottom division, which means they have some rebound, okay? So you can see this is the division expert. Red column stands for the money inflow, and the green column stands for the money outflow. If you see the money inflow, which means it's good, because the market should, uh, the market, uh, if the market want to go, uh, if the market go up, the, so we need to know, we need to check whether the bank money, the money inflow or not. Okay, so how to judge the, this is the bottom division and the top division. They have some situations. If you see the high point is higher, while the high point of division expert is lower. So what's that meaning? This is the top division, right? If you see here, the market up, the high point is higher, then the high point is lower. This is the division. If you see the market is a top division, so once the red candlestick turn to the green color, this is the sell point. You should sell quickly, okay? Then uh, we see this one. This is the how to judge the bottom division. If you see the high low point, because you can see here, the low point is lower, while the division expert, the low point is higher. This is the bottom division, which means the market may have some rebound, okay? So let's see this one. Let's see the market. This is the STI index. Then we can know, we can find, click expert, then find division expert. Okay, so we can see the market. Firstly, let's see this one. They have some situations, then we, I, later I will show you. Then we can see here, the high point is higher, but the high point is not higher. So this is the top division, right? So if you see the green red column turn to the green column, 
this is the sell point because the bottom division, top division, we should uh, prepare for the risk. Okay, then we can see here, the high point, low point is lower, but the high point, low point is higher. What's that meaning? This is the top division, uh, the bottom division. The bottom division means the market may have some rebound, but you should know why this short, this is the short term rebound, right? So if you see the trend is here downtrend, you only can do some short term rebound. Okay, then we can see here. This is the high point is higher, but the high point is lower of division expert. This is the top division, we should sell quickly. Then we can see nowadays, the market, the low point is lower, right? But the high po low point of division expert is lower or not? No. Not lower, which means this is the bottom division. If you see the market is in bottom division, which point is the good buy point? Once the green turn to the red color, you should catch some good opportunity, okay? But they all have some uh, situations that I want to uh, check. I want to ask you whether you can understand or not. So the bottom division, this is the high point. This is the division expert. So this is the top division, right? You may have some another situation. So can you tell me this is the be this uh, uh, this is belongs to bottom top division or not? The low point, the high point is lower of the market, the stock price, while the division expert, the high point is higher. This is the top division or not? This is not the top division. Okay, the top division you should know the high point, the price. The high point is higher, but the division for the high point is lower. This is the top division. This is not top division. And we can see another situation. This is the the price. This is the division expert. Then this is the stock price. This is the bottom division or not? The high point, the low point is higher. But the division for the low point is lower. This is the top division or this is the bottom division or not? No, this is not bottom division. What's the bottom division? If you see the price, the stock price, the low point is lower. But the division expert, the low point is higher. So this is the top bottom division, okay? If you see the price is in bottom division, we should uh, catch some good opportunity for rebound, okay? So this is the division, you should know that. And we know how to know the support and resistance of the market. Then, okay, we can use some indicate some uh, inform some functions to judge where is the support and resistance. We can use chips distribution. We also can use golden section. So now we use chips distribution to judge where is the next support and resistance. Okay, so firstly let's click ANZ. Then find connect the low point till the present price. Okay, then we can click CD chips distribution. So this is the support, right? This is the next uh, resistance. So if you see the price just uh, touch the resistance, you should prepare for the short term risk. Okay, short term correction. So you should remember the high point and the low point. Okay, then we can see recently they have some strong stocks. So let's see this stock. This stock is quite strong, right? especially uh, in on Thursday. So you can see this, uh, especially on Monday. The, sh the stock sharply up, okay? So last time, I know I remember a long time, uh, maybe several weeks ago, I taught you the good method for future. I don't know whether you remember or not. So I use this future method to filter these stocks. I don't know 
whether you practice at home or not. If you learn the method, you should practice. And then I, pra I use this method to select these dogs. And uh, the date maybe around here, I'm not sure. So if you catch some good opportunity, you should, uh, if you learn some good method, you should prepare, you should uh, practice. Okay, so let's see this dog. This dog is quite strong, okay, but want to know whether the market the price can go up again or not right okay so we know that today the price the stock has some short-term correction and we can see the volume the volume increase or decrease <laughs> decrease which means the bank money still inside but you should know now where is the good buy point now you miss the good chance right so maybe here is the good buy point so you should know half of the candlestick maybe this is the buy price but you should set stop loss first okay let's see the next uh, stock this stock i this stock let's see this one okay so we can see this stock the price sharply up on Monday, okay. So we know firstly if you have this stock, you should know where is the resistance. So you can know that 0 0.05 is the resistance, right? So you know that if you buy this stock, you should sell at this price for short term, okay? Okay, then we can see this one. I sent some uh I computer this stock also. Then we can see here. The price, we can see whether the price upward breaks through or the resistance or not. So we can see the low price is 0 0.045, the high price is 0 0.054. Uh, then we can see the close price is 0 0.049. So we know that if you want to check, the upward break the breakthrough or not you should use close price to check okay so we can see the close price the high price already upward uh, create a new high right but for the close price still not uh, upward break out the resistance 0 0.05 okay so when to buy when to sell if the price can go up again Maybe you have chance to catch some short-term opportunity. If the price cannot break through, maybe they have some correction, right? Okay, so you should uh, know that. If the price has some correction, maybe you can buy. If the price can upward break through, you also can buy. If you buy this stock, where is the next support? Where is the next resistance? So maybe around here is the next resistance, okay? So if you still hold this stock, you should pay more attention to the first resistance, 0 0.05. The next resistance is 0 0.06, okay? So this is the stocks. Let's see novel. Firstly, let's see this stock. Then I think, for in my opinion, this stock may have some chance. Why? Because we can see the low point is lower, lower, right? This is the downtrend. But we can see this is the low point. This is the low point. So the next low point is here. The low point is higher, not lower, right? So maybe the price, the downtrend will reverse. Okay, so how to charge? If you see the high point is higher than this high point, maybe you can know that this is the short term uptrend. You can catch some good opportunity. If the price cannot, the high point cannot higher than previous high point, you should know this is the sideways, okay? So you can pay more attention. Then every day you can check the high volume stock and the judge. Okay, so this is the market and we uh, analyzed uh, some hot stocks. So let's see the definition of indicator. 
This one I talked to you before. Well, I taught you before. Then let's review it. The definition: processing in accordance with a fixed formula for the original indicator, original data, according to the statist statistic theory and uh, charge the treatment results to judge the stock market. So the original data include the uh, open price, high price, low price, close price, volume, and amount, and so on. So this is the definition. We just know it. It's okay. And the application principle of indicator. So they have four factors. The first one, every technical indicator observes the stock market from a particular point. Therefore, these indicators cannot solve all problems. So just now I taught you how to use KDJ, but you cannot use KDJ to earn the 100 profit profit. So the next one, each tool has its own application scope and environment. So technical indicators are no exception, which cannot be applied magically. So the next one, mature a strategy, uh, the, this one, you should know that uh, price trend analysis must be combined with the indicator application. So this is the principle. So let's see the next one. The usage of indicator. Measure is four aspects when using indicators. Golden clause, dead clause, strong area, weak area, top division, bottom division, overbought, and oversold. oversold. Okay, so this is the usage. This one we just know it is okay because this is the sub definition. The trading signal confirmation of indicator check the position of golden cross and that cross, which means the chain is in overbought, is in rebound. It means that the price will continue to go up after short term consolidation if strong golden cross. However, it indicates the rebound will end if that cross in low area. The price will have short-term retracement if strong golden cross. On the other hand, the trend will change to medium-term uptrend if that cross in low area will keep to go to strong area. Similarly, the dead cross in high area and keep to go to weak area, which means the trend will change to medium-term downtrend. So this is some, some definition. Okay, then we can see the clarification of indicator. The probability indicators include KDJ, RSI, William, PSY, ARVR. Today I will teach you how to use KDJ and RSI, okay, and how to combine KDJ with MACD to catch some good opportunity. Okay, so we can see these indicators are belong to probability indicators. But we cannot use, we cannot combine KDJ with RSI because they are below same type of indicators, okay? So the chain indicator includes BIS, MACD, EXPMA, BMI, and the body, okay? So the next one, energy indicators, OBV, VR. So if you want to combine with these indicators, we can, can we can combine the probability indicators with the trend indicators or energy indicators, but we cannot combine uh, BIS with MACD because it it makes no sense because they all belong to trend indicators, same type. Okay, so you should remember this. Okay, let's see the first indicator, which is called SI. SI is the relative strength indicator. So SI is also called strength indicator, which is created by various wider. And it is common short-term indicators of technical analysis. You should remember, RSI is only for short-term, not for medium long-term, only for short-term. So KDJ also belongs to short-term, okay? So if you want to do some short-term trading, you can use these indicators to judge. Okay, then we can see next one. The principle of RSI. RSI is based on the balance of supply and demand in the stock market. By the comparison of the magnitude of the price and or the overall market index ups and downs to analyze strengths of long and short trading. Moreover, to judge the future trend of market. Okay, so let's see the RSI. So we can see the RSI indicator. We can find the RSI. So we can see this is the RSI. 
include two but we can set as I include the nine and the 14 days RSI okay so how to set firstly you should click setting okay so this is the RSI okay so how to use RSI to judge the uh, rebound and the short-term correction okay then we can see next one is the ratio of market price changes. Investors can predict future stock price movements according to the market changes and price volatility. In practice, ASI can combine with moving average to increase market forecast accuracy. So you can you also can combine this moving average, okay? So because SI is the probability indicator, MA belongs to chain indicator, okay? So you should remember. So the key points analysis of SI. If you want to use this indicator, you should know the first one. Uh, no, no, no. This is maybe something wrong. Okay, the first. Uh, this is the first one. The RSI indicators, the first one, current clause and the dead clause. The next one, market analysis of strong and weak market. So the next one, patterns analysis of RSI. The division analysis between RSI and the price. The last one, stock analysis and overbought and oversold area. So this is the key points. You should remember the A, B, C, D, E, okay? So we can see next one. The judgment of RSI. The range of calculation of RSI is between zero and 100, okay? This is the parameter, the value. So if you see the RSI is between 80 to 100 and 100, this is extremely strong you should prepare for selling because extremely strong the market may have some rebound have some correction so the next one 50 to 80 strong area you can keep your stocks okay buy and keep this one you should keep your stocks then if you see the RSI is uh, 20 to 50 weak area you should wait and see okay so you see here the parameter is 0 to 20 extremely weak you should buy okay so this is the RSI indicator because if we know this parameter this value we can set the buy low sell high signal okay so how to set and uh, you know nine is for short term 14 you can use nine okay nine parameter is better okay then we can click signal is 0 to 20 this is the buy low signal okay then if you see the price the blue candlestick appears which means you there may have some rebound okay so if you see the next day the blue candle disappear so maybe you can catch some short term rebound okay but you should remember the next day if the candlestick is red candlestick and the close price is lower than this close price, this one, the close price of the blue, the last blue candlestick, you cannot buy, you cannot get in, okay? And you should set stop loss point. If you see the price below, fall below the close price, the high, low price of this blue candlestick, you should stop loss, okay? So let's see this start. This is the novel. Then we can see next one, some indicators. This is the high volume stock. So we can see this one. Just now we analyzed. So this is the novel we can see here. This is the downtrend, right? If you see the price is in the downtrend, you should know downtrend we only buy small position, cannot by the whole position okay so this one we can see here blue 
candlestick disappear? Can we buy or not? How to judge whether can buy or not? If you see this candlestick, the close price, this is the green candlestick, right? And the close price is higher than the close price of blue candlestick. So this one, you can buy, okay? So, but if you buy, you should do short-term trading, okay? Maybe you keep one or two days, you should sell quickly, okay? So this one appear again, do some short-term rebound because the chain is not good. So we can see here, buy some, then buy or not. This one can we buy or not? Blue candlestick disappear and the close price higher than this one, close price. So buy or not? Short term is good. So you can do some short term trading, okay? So this one can buy or not? Still can because for short term you can catch some good opportunity, okay? So this is the buy low signal. So how to set the sell high signal, okay? So if you want to combine with these two signals, I teach you this method. Firstly, you should click advanced signal combination. Click the name to buy low, sell high. Then click setup. Probability, SI 0 to 20, setup, okay? So SI 80 to 100, this is the sell high signal. Then click setup again. Okay, then we need to change the color. Click this one, yellow, click OK, then click modify. Then we can combine with this two. If you see here, then we can see this can candlestick. The blue candlestick appears, which means the price is in oversold area. So here, can we buy or not? If you see the price like this, can we get in or not? Yes, this is the buy point, okay? Then if you buy, keep, keep your stocks, okay? So if you see the, we wait. Okay, then we can see here, the yellow candlestick appears, what's that meaning? signal appears, which means this is a sell high. You should uh, sell quickly once the yellow candlestick disappear. Okay, but the premise is that the trend is the uptrend or downtrend also can. Okay, or sideways also can. So here you should uh, sell quickly, but you should know that if you see the next day, the close price is lower than the yellow candlestick, you should sell quickly. Then you can avoid some short-term risk, okay? So this is the combination. Then we can see next one. Okay, later I will show you. So we can see this stock. Can we buy now or not? No, because now this is the yellow candlestick, right? Once the yellow candlestick disappear, you should sell for short-term risk, okay? Because the the price may have some re, uh, correction, okay? So how to set this signal? I repeat again. Firstly, we should click setting. Firstly, we should click signals. Then, this is the first step. The second step, we should click advanced signal combination. This is the second step. Then we should click the name. Buy low, sell high. This is the name. Then we click setup. Okay, after this step, we should click SI, change the parameter to zero to 20. This one is good for buy low, sell high. Zero to 20. Parameter is nine. Then we can click setup. The next one, we should click change the parameter SI to 80 to 100. Then we can click setup again. Okay, then the finish. Then we should change the color. You can see the first one, the color is yellow. 
The next one color is yellow, okay? Then we need to change the color. The first one I want to change to uh, blue color. Then click this one, click blue color, click OK. Then click modify, click OK again. So we can see this is the parameter, okay? Then we can see you can use this one to charge. So this one is like this. So if you want to set by low cell high signal, you should know that, how to do that. Okay, then we can see this one. Blue candlestick, yellow candlestick, uh, then we can see this one. Can we sell here or not? This is the candlestick, right? So we should know that, we should see whether the close price is higher than this one or not. So we can see this one, should we sell or not? Some members said need to sell, some members said no, because you know that in the future the price sharply up, okay? Then we can see this one. If you see this one, the high price, high price, is higher than this one, you should uh, still can keep it, okay? Then you wait and see. Okay, so this one can sell or not. High price is lower than this one. You should sell quickly because the trend is not good. So you can avoid the short-term risk. How about this one, sell or not? High price is higher, then you can wait, okay? Next time, you should sell quickly. So this is the price, this is the market. Then we can see this one. Should we sell or not? Yeah. We should sell because the high price is higher, lower than this one. We should sell quickly, okay? So this is the method. How to use MI to catch buy low, sell high signal, okay? So this is the, this one. The next one we talk about the overbought and oversold of RSI. How to judge the overbought and oversold, okay? In general, it is boundary of oversold and overbought by the value of RSI. The first one, the strength of the market is too strong when RSI exceeds 80, which means the strength of long is more than short. The market is overbought. The future trend may have correction or reversal. Therefore, investors should sell for avoiding short-term correction, okay? So if you see the RSI exists, AT, you should prepare for short-term, you should uh, uh, pay more attention to the short-term correction, okay? So what that meaning? Then we can see this candlestick, this share. Yes, the, this is the, uh, so the uh, Monday, the Monday, the candlestick. Okay, then we can see this candlestick. RSI is above 80, right? Above 80, which means tomorrow can buy or not. Which today, which means today can buy or not. No, we cannot buy because this one, maybe the price may go down. So this one is the overbought area. We should prepare for short-term correction, but only for short-term, not for medium long-term, okay? If the price has some short-term correction, then we will go up again if the trend is in the uptrend. Okay, then we can see next one. The strength of short is stronger than long. When RSI is below 20 and the market is oversold, the price may have rebound or reversal. Therefore, investors can open a position. If you see the RSI below 20 and you can see RSI go up, you should buy, okay? The next one, the market is in consolidation. When RSI is around 50, investors should wait and see. You cannot buy, you cannot sell. Just wait and see. We can see this one. Which what point is the good buy point? If you see the KDJ, the J line below 20, below 20 then go up. This is the buy point, okay? So if you buy here, you can keep it. Then now we can see this stock sideways or up or down. This is the consolidation area because the RSI is moves around 50, right? So this is the consolidation area you can judge. Then we can see next one, D. 
For the definition of oversold and overbought, investors should base on the specific situation of the market. Generally, the market is overbought when SI exists 80, while the market is oversold when SI is below 20. Okay, in the poor market, overbought area can be set to 90 or more. If you see the market is good, the chain is strong, okay? The chain is in uptrend, the poor market. Overbought area can be set to 90 or more. So if you want to set in the poor market, you can set the parameter to 90 to 100, not 80, okay? So you can set 90 to 100. Then, but in the poor market, bear market, the oversold area can be set at 10 or less. If you see the chain, the market is in the board is the bear market, you can set the KDJ zero to ten. Okay? So more ten or less. Specific to small parameter of SI. SI is hard to reach ninety and below ten if parameter is high. So why we use nine days SI? Because if you use forty days SI the, it's hard to reach 90 and below 10, okay? So we need to use this one to charge. This is the RSI. Then we can see the cross of RSI. Short-term RSI, more than long-term RSI. Market is bull market, okay? How to charge? Because we can know 9 days RSI to and 14 days RSI. If you see the 9 days RSI more than above the uh, 40 days RSI, market is poor market, okay? How, what's that meaning? <coughs> so this is the RSI, okay? Because the parameter is too similar. Then we can see here, if you see the short term RSI is above the long term, or 40 days RSI, the market is good, okay? But it's below, the market is not good. So above, again, the market is good, but only for short term, okay? Then we can see next one. Short term RSI, less than long term RSI, market is bear market, but only for short term, not for medium long term. The next one, short term RSI upward cross long term RSI at the bottom area, which is called golden cross, it is buy signal. Short term RSI downward cross long term RSI at top area, which is called dead cross, it is sell signal. Okay, but you should see, check the premise is that the RSI has the top area or bottom area. Okay, so this is very important for us. Then we can see next one, division of SI. The top division and the bottom division. SI is lower and lower at the top, while the price creates a new high, which is called top division. It is top reversal signal, and the price will drop for short term. It is self signal, okay? If you see the SI and the price has some top division, you should prepare for selling for short term, okay? Then this one, we can see the high, the high point of the stock price is higher, okay? But we can see the RSI high point and high point is lower. This is the top, this is the top division. We should sell quickly. How to, when to sell? If you see the two lines go down, you should sell quickly because this is the top division, okay? Then we can see next one. The bottom deviation, SI bottom deviation is generally presence below 20 or less. When the price go down and the lower low when SI is higher high. So which means bottom deviation, this phenomenon generally indicates that the price may rebound for short term. It is buying signal for short term, okay? So let's see this one. If you see the price is below 20, and they have some top division. 
The high low point is lower of the price, while the high low point is higher of the deviation expert. So this is the top bottom deviation. If you see the price is in bottom deviation, we should uh, prepare for buying for short term. Okay. So this is the over top deviation or bottom deviation. Okay. Let's see the next one: advantages and disadvantages of SI because each indicators has advantages and disadvantages, okay? So advantages, it can reflect the strength of long and short, which can predict the future price movements based on market changes, but the disadvantages. SI fluctuates frequently and the tendency is not clear. Indicators may have confused feeling of disorder in the practice operation. So many of us, most of us will have this feeling, right? It's difficult to judge. So this is the disadvantages. So we need to use advantages and uh, dis uh, dispose the disadvantages, okay? So this is the SI. Let's see the next indicator, which is called KDJ, okay? So KDJ is called the stochastic indicator, which is proposed uh, by Dr. George Lane. It was widely used in the short-term trend analysis in stocks and the futures. KDJ is only for short-term, okay? Similar with the SI. Then the key points analysis of KDJ. The first one, the meaning of KDJ golden clause and the dead clause, overbought and oversold. The analysis distinguish of top and bottom division, the different meaning of clause. This is the key points analysis of KDJ, okay? So the judgment of KDJ, the range of value, the value of K and D is in the range 0 to 100, and the range of J may exceed 100 or below 0, okay? So in terms of sense sensitivity, J is the strongest, K is followed, and the D is slow. However, in terms of safety, J is the worst, K is followed, and D is the most stable, okay? So this is the K. D, J, okay. Then we can see the next one is uh, regarding the overbought and the oversold. According to KDJ value, which can be divided into several regions, namely overbought, oversold, and consolidation. It is oversold when KD and J are below 20. It is overbought when K, D, J are exceed 80. The price is in consolidation when K, D, J are between 20 and 80. We had better wait and see, okay? So this is the overbought and the oversold area and how to judge the consolidation area, okay? So you should remember to the value. The upward clause and downward, downward clause of KDJ. The first one, when the price after a long consolidation at the bottom and KDJ up or below 50, once J and K are symmetristic uh, upward clause D, indicating, at the, indicating that the stock will strong and the price decline has end, investors can start buying stocks for media long term. Okay, so if you see the K and the D and the J are all below 50, then J and the K up the cross D, then which means the stock will strong. Then investors can start buying stocks for medium long term. Okay, so what's that meaning? So we can see this stock. So we can see this one here. Then we can see this one, the K, D, J are all below 50, right? Are all below 50 here, are all below 50. Then if you see the K, D, J, the J line, the J uh, upward colors, the K and the D. So here is the buy point for media long term. Okay, so here we can buy. So here, can buy again. So here, we also can buy. Here, we also can buy. 
if you see the KD J are all below 15, once the J line output across the KMD, this is the five point for short media short short media term. Okay, so this is the first one. The next one, when the price after a period of consolidation at the top and KDJR all along 15, once J and K, uh, D and K are almost uh, simultaneously upward cross D and the value increase, which indicates that the market is strong and the price will rise again, investors can increase position and hold stock. What's that mean? If you see here, the K, D, J are all, almost uh, 50, right? So here, if you see the price upward across, for up again, so this is the buy point. So if you see here, the pyramid, the K, D, J are all above 50. Then if you see the upward cross, you can buy again. So here, you also can buy, okay? So this is the second point. We can see the next point. When the price, after rising for a very long time, once J and K almost uh, simultaneously uh, downward across D, indicating the stock will change to weak, the price may go down, then investors should sell most of stocks and cannot buy stocks. So if you see, this is the downward cross at the top, you should sell quickly, like this stock. If you see here, the price up for period, then if you see here the dead cross, J line up downward across the K and D, this is the dead cross, you should sell quickly, okay, because we can see the parameter, the value is above 50, so if you see the dead cross, uh, downward cross appears, you should sell quickly, then you can avoid the risk, okay, so this is this one. Then we can see the next one. When the price fell after a long a period of time, whereas the leg of upward momentum rebound, the, vari uh, the variance of moving average had strong resistance and the KDJ rebound to around 80 while cannot go up to above 80. Once J and once J, uh, D and K downward cross J, indicating the market will enter into weak area, the price will drop again, so investors should sell stocks or wait and see. Okay, so what's that meaning? If you see the KDJ is around 80, then rebound to around 80, then can, cannot go up above 80. So if you see the dead cross, you should sell quickly. So we can see this stock. So we can see this one. This one, the price go up, then cannot up to the above 80. Then the dead cross appears. You should sell quickly. Rebound again, but cannot up to above 20, 80. So here you should sell again. Then we can see here, upward. Then we can see go up. Then this is the dead cross. You should sell, sell, sell. Okay, so this is the sell point. Then we can see that I can show you some examples because we want to know how to use it, how to judge. Okay, let's see this stock. This stock is not good, okay? We can not, no need to judge. Then we can see this one. The KDJ, okay? The KD, this is the SI, I changed to KDJ. Change to KDJ, okay? So this is the KDJ, only have one uh, line. Then we can click set, click KDJ again. Okay, then we can see this one. Then we can see this one. This share is good or not? 
and we can see the shear is sideways for a long period, okay? Then here, upward breaks through the sideways area. Then we can see next one, how to judge. So we can see this one. If we see the kid, this is the upward cross, can we buy it or not? This is the upward cross and the below 20. So this one we buy or not? We can buy for short term, only for short term, okay? Then we can see this one may have had some short term rebound. Then here we should sell again. So here can we buy or not? So we see how to judge. The J line, the three lines are all below 20. And the J line upward cross K and D. This is a buy point, okay? Then we can buy for short term. So we can see next one. Where is the good buy point? Then we can see here. All lines are below 20, right? Below 20, because 20 is here. So below 20. Then you see the J line up the cross K and the D. This is the buy point, okay? Then you can buy, you can catch some good opportunity. Then we can see next one. So we see here. Here we can see all lines are below 20. All lines almost here, not below. So we see whether below 20 or not. Almost 20, right. Upward cross, maybe you can catch some short term rebound, okay? So this is the method. Then we can see the main points. Once the stock price is suppressed by long term moving average, Investors only can do short-term operation when the price is below long-term moving average and far away from moving average. Meanwhile, KDJ Golden Cross investors can do short-term rebound. So what's that meaning? Because we can combine with the long-term moving average, okay? So we can see this one. Click moving average. Okay, this is the moving average, and we use the long-term moving average. Then we can use moving average, use 30 days, and 120 days. Okay, this is the long term. So if you see the price is below long term moving average, which means you only can do some short term rebound. If you see the K, D, J, golden cross, you should buy quickly, okay? So this is the buy point. The next one, the period. Daily KDJ is short term, medium term, short term, medium term. At most uh, 15 days to one month, this is for short, medium term, okay? So weekly KDJ is medium term. The period, period is one month to three months. Once golden cross, the price may rise substantially within a month, but the increase cannot be determined, okay? So the monthly KDJ is long term. The period is three months to five months, okay? It's different. If you 
want to use daily KDJ, at least you can do some short-term rebound. How to do that? You can keep for 20, 50 days or below 50 days or in one month, okay? Within one month. The next one, weekly KDJ. The period is one month to three months. What's the cost? You should know. This one, the price may rise. The next one, monthly KDJ is long term. The period is three months to five months. Okay, so it's up to you. If you use daily KDJ to judge, you only can keep for several days. Okay, if you use weekly KDJ to judge the buy and sell point, you can keep for one month to one month to three months. Then if you want to do long term, you use monthly KDJ to judge. The period is three months to five months, okay? So this is the period of KDJ, you should remember that. Then let's see the weekly, uh, this is the daily KDJ, okay? Then we can see the month weekly. This is the weekly KDJ, okay? If you see the weekly KDJ, upward cross, Upward cross, maybe you have good opportunity to catch some good, to make some profit. Okay, so this is this one. We can see this one. This is the weekly chart. Upward cross, you can buy again. Okay, then you maybe you can keep for almost uh, uh, one month to three months. Okay, so this is the period of monthly, daily, and weekly KDJ. And uh, you should know how many days you can keep or you can trade, okay? So let's see the next one. The combination of KDJ and uh, MACD, okay? Just now we learned how to use SI and how to use KDJ to judge our stocks. For the SI, we can use SI to set buy low, sell high signal. Buy low is 0 to 80, sell high is 80 to 100. But for the, in the bull market, the parameter you should change to 890, okay? Then if you see the share, the price, the market is in the bear market, the parameter should be set around 10 or less, okay? It's up to our, this, uh, our old system. Then we can see, just now we learned the KDJ. We know KDJ can help us to judge the periodical high point and the low point, okay? And uh, he, it can help us to uh, judge the golden cross or dead cross or top deviation or bottom deviation. Then we can operate our stocks at well or well. Okay, so this one we will learn how to combine with the two functions. The first one is KDJ, the next one is MACD, okay? So how to combine the KDJ and the MACD? The first one, it is by point for short term when J upward cross 50 exits and MACD is red column. So the prime premise is that this is a buy point, okay? So you should know that the J nine days, J upward cross 50 access, and the MACD is red color. This is the buy point, okay? So how to set? The first one, you should click second window, then click setting, KDJ, the comment, dispose, Okay, uh, of K and D, save MACD, recall and dispose all, then save, confirm, double click, seven window, ND, double click, KDJ, Jet MACD to the second window. Seems like a little complicated, right? Then the value of J is nine, then how to set, it's very simple, okay? How to set this method? Then you should click setting first. Setting first. After this step, we should find KDJ. Right click KDJ, left click KDJ. Then we only use J line, okay? We should dispose this or nine days, click save. 
This is the first step, okay? Then what's the next step? Next step, we should find MACD. This is the MACD. Then we find MACD, how to do that? Then we should click recommend first, then click this two, dispose this two, then we click save, click OK. Okay, so the setting are all finished. Okay, it's very simple, right? Firstly, you should click setting, click KDJ, you only use nine days J line, click save, then click MACD. Delete all, then click save, click OK. That's all. Then how to combine with these two? This is the KDJ, right? So we should right, left click IND. Left click IND. Then we should move the MACD to the second window. MACD to the second window. This is the MACD. We move to second window. Okay, then you can combine with these two functions. But how to judge the five point and seven point? Okay, so firstly, you should know how to set these two indicators. Okay, so after you finish the indicators, you can know that this is the chart. Okay, so you know how to do that. Then we can see next one. If you see the J upward clause 50 axis and MACD is red column, this is the buy point. But this method only for buying, okay? So we can see this one. J upward clause 50 axis, okay? So this one, can we buy or not? Okay, can buy, okay? So how about this one, can buy or not? The J line upward clause 50 axis. So this one can buy or not? Some member said yes, some member said no. You should see, you should know, check the each conditions. Okay. Firstly, you should see the J upward clause the 50 axis. Then the next one, MACD is red color. This one MACD is green or red? It's green, right? So we can not buy. Okay. How about this one? Can buy or not? Yes, this is the buy point. How about this one? This one, can buy or not? Yes, we can buy, okay? Then I give you some examples. This is the Allen's, okay? Then how to do that? Let's see this one. Buy or not? If you see the price like this, can we get in or not? No. Okay. Then we can wait and see. This one can buy or not? Okay. Then we can see the first situation. J line upward cost the fifty axis. Then the line MACD is still green color. Can buy or not? But you can see the price sharply up. Maybe you want to buy, right? You hope you can buy. Then you cannot buy. If you buy, you will lose some profit, okay? Then we wait and see. Can we buy here or not? Can we buy here or not? So we can see the first situation. J line upward cross T like this, and the MACDs red color can buy or not. Only for short term. Remember, all the indicators only for short term. Okay. If you do short term trading, stop loss is necessary. Okay. Then we can see this one. Wait and see. How about here? Can we buy or not? Maybe you will hesitate. Okay? You will confuse. Whether can I buy or not? 
to first distribution. JLI also calls the MACDs right, combine or not. <laughs> combine, okay. So how about the here? Can we buy or not? We can see here, KDJ upward cross the middle axis. Then we can see the MACD is red column, right? Can we buy or not? This is a buy point, okay? Then you can earn some profit. Only for buying, not for selling, okay? Then we can see next one. Let's check the stocks one by one. This one can buy or not? Still cannot, right? Because it's not good. So how about this one? Still cannot, okay? This one can buy or not? You missed a good chance. Which price is a good buy point? So if you see here, upward cross, right? The red color, MACD is red color. Can we buy or not? You can buy the next day then you can earn good profit. So here, if you buy yesterday, today you can, you still can earn some good profit. This is the weekly chart. Let's see the daily chart, okay? Okay, so how to say, just now we used the KDJ. This method also can be used in the daily chart, weekly chart, and the monthly chart, okay? So how to do that? Firstly, click setting, KDJ, use one, okay, then save. MACD, the comment, then delete all, then click save, click okay. Then this is the KDJ, then click MACD, move to here. So this one maybe is a little, it's hard to see. You should change the color. Nine. Okay, then you can cl see clearly. So you show me. Here can we buy or not? Can buy or not? Okay, then we can see the last see the buy conditions. The first one, JLI upper cross right and the MACD is red color. Buy or not? It's the buy point, right? But only for short term. Then if you buy you wait and you can earn some good profit, okay? Then we can see next one. So now can we buy or not for this stock? The MACD is still red column, right? But the J line go down. So you need to wait. Here the J line upward cross again is the buy point, okay? Then we can see next one. Where is the good buy price? Where is the good buy price? Okay, then we can see here. The MACD is red column, right? Then if you see the J line go up again, maybe you can buy, okay? Then if cannot, here can buy or not, go up again. So you also can buy, you can earn some good profit. Then we can see next one. How about this Can this stock, can we get in or not? The first one is to say the MACD is red column, right? And the J line is big, okay? So if you see the J line go up, you can buy, okay? Then we can see next one. This one, where is the good buy price? Here, can we buy or not? The MACD is red color, and the J line upward cross. Buy or not? Buy point, okay? You can earn some profit. So now, can we buy again or not? Which price is the good buy point? If you see the J line go up again, you can buy, 
okay? So it's still combined. And we can see next one. This one can we buy or not? This one can we get in or not? No. Okay, then we can see here. Can we buy here or not? The J line output cross, but the MACD is red, is green color. Buy or not? No, we cannot buy. Okay, then this method is simple. Then we can see next one. This one can we buy or not? Cannot. We need to wait and see. Okay. So how about this one? Because we all want to buy some stocks, but we don't know which stock is good to buy. So we can see this one. If you see the J line upward cross, maybe you can buy because the MACD is red color. Okay. So this is the method. Okay, then I, I mentioned that last time I taught you the filter method. Let's practice again. Let's practice and see whether can filter some stocks or not. So after the class. Then we can see this one. How to judge buy and sell point by KDJ and the MACD. The first one, J goes down and the red column of MACD becomes shorter, you should sell quickly, sell point, okay? Then J goes up, green column of MACD becomes shorter, five point, okay? So you should remember how to do that. This is the five point and the sell point, how to judge. Just now I taught you the basic application. This is a practical application, okay? Because if you want to buy at the lowest price and sell at the highest price, you can use this method to charge. Okay, so this is this chart you should remember. The first one, DIF is here. The axis called DIF of MACD, okay? So combine with J, only the J line. So the red color is shorter and the J goes down, you should sell high. What's that mean? Red color, red color is shorter. J line goes down, here we should sell high, okay? Then we can see here, J, this is the red color, the red color becomes shorter, right? And the J line goes down, this is the sell point. So here is the sell point, here is the sell point. Then sell point and the sell point again. Okay, you can use this method to sell high, but only for shorter. Then this one, how to buy. Look, green color is shorter, and the J goes up. This is the buy low. Green column is shorter. You can see the green column is shorter, right? And the J goes up. So here is the buy point. Here is another buy point. Here is the buy point, buy point by point and the by point, okay? It's good for short-term trading, okay? So you should remember, red column is shorter, plus J goes down, this is the sell high. Then green column is shorter, and the J goes up, this is the buy low, okay? So you can use these indicators to catch buy low, sell high signal, okay? Because if last the time I uh, taught this lesson again, I teach this lesson again, I will teach you how to combine with other indicators. Okay, because you can combine so many indicators. This is the first method for combining indicators. Okay, so you should remember this. Then, just now I, I mentioned that I need to show you how to do this filter, right? Then we can check whether it's good or not. This filter method is a little complicated. Then maybe you can, I just uh, practice. You just uh, watch, it's okay. Then the first one, we should click Singapore market. Then we should click save. Then click market, sector browse, extra. Find the S, just now we, I saved.
Okay, this one. Then we can wait and see. So let's see today, can we select some strong stocks? Then maybe we can pay attention. Then we right click percentage. Safe part between 30. Press one, then click save. Then turn over rate. Save part. S2. Click save. Volume. Save part. S3. Click save. Then we can click sector index setting. Maintainers. Direct extract. S1. Then Intersection X straight S2. Then intersection X straight S3. Only one stock. Add value, right? So this stock, you should know that just now we mentioned, right? You can pay attention. If the price has some short-term correction, you can find a good chance to buy. If after the breakthrough, maybe you can buy again, okay? So if you use this, mass, this method to filter, only one or two stocks will appear, okay? Not so many stocks. Because if you use other method, filter method, they all, or maybe 20 or 30 or 100 shares appear, you will refuse, right? You don't know which one is better. This method only filter one or two stocks. Maybe it's easy for you to understand, okay? So let's see this one. So maybe you need to wait till the mark the share has some correction, okay? No, now now J line goes down. Then if you J line go up again, you can buy again. Now you can pay attention because the MACD, the red is the red color, right? If you see the J line go up again, you can buy again, okay? So now you can pay attention, you can put into your favorite. But why this dog is, then we can use homely rainbow to judge. So can you tell me what's the pattern? This is the homely rainbow, right? So we all know that white line, the resistance, long resistance, right? So this day, the price upward breaks through the white line. Apple breaks through white line again, right? But go down again because we can see the J line go down, right? So it's not good. Then we can wait and see. The next day, the price go up to white line again. But we can see here. Here can we buy or not? No, we can see the other day, the J line go down. So it's not good, okay? Then what's the difference with this nowadays the price? So we can see here, upright, continue up. So this one maybe is better, but you need to wait till some correction. Then how to judge? If you see the J line go down, then go up again. Maybe you have a chance to catch some short-term buy point. Okay, so this is the, this stock. So let's review today's course and I hope you can. Today the content is not more, it's not much. Okay, so today we learned the enter and exit gears of indicators, right? We learned how to use KDJ. So firstly, we learned how to use some indicators to judge the market. You can uh, analyze the monthly chart ahead, then for, uh, the short, the weekly chart. Second, then the next one, we can analyze the daily chart. Then we can see the, this is the definition. Today we learned, so you should remember, this is the all indicators. 
we cannot combine KDJ with ISI, with Lilium, with PS5, with ERBI. Okay, we cannot do this. Last time I will show you how to combine the other indicators. Today I show you how to combine KDJ with MACD. Okay. So the next one, ISI. ISI, you should remember the main points is here. 80 to 100 is extremely strong. 50 to 80 strong area. 20 to 50 weak. 0 to 20 extremely weak. So you should know how to set by low sell high signal. Okay. So this one is important. Then you can see here. This this one is some uh, key points. You just remember it's okay. Then you should see the stop floor, the upward cross or downward cross and top deviation or bottom deviation. Okay. So you should know the advantages and the disadvantages of using RSI. Okay. So next one we learned the other indicator is called KDJ. And this one is only for short term. Next, uh, the ISI is also for short term. Okay, so this one we learned the golden cross, overbought on the oversold, the top and bottom division, then different meaning. So we can see this is the KDJ. KDJ we should know that upward cross or downward cross. Okay, so the. This one, I hope you can remember the main contents, the main points. You can combine with moving average. If you see that the long term moving average is down, you should know that you can do some short term rebound, okay? Only for short term, not for medium long term, okay? So the period you also need to know because daily KDJ is short term. You can keep for 15 days to one month. Weekly KDJ is for long, medium, long term. Period is one month to three months. The monthly KDJ is long term. The period is, period is three months to five months. Okay, so this is the period. Then how to combine the KDJ and the MACD. You can leave nine days KDJ and only the uh, DIF of MACD, okay? So, J upward cross 50 axis and MACD is red column. This is the buy point, okay? So, how to judge buy and sell point by KDJ and MACD? J goes down and the red column of MACD becomes shorter. This is the sell point, okay? J goes up. The green column of MACD become shorter. This is the buy point. Okay. So if you want to achieve buy low, sell high, you can use this method to uh, to achieve your goal. Okay. Maybe you want to uh, do some short term trading. You want to earn some fast money, fast profit. You can you can you can use this method. Then. Uh, we use the method to select the stocks, right? So I hope you can remember. You can use this method. Every day you can practice, then you can select one or two stocks, then you can pay attention, okay? So last time I selected uh, IEX and the ISR. So today we select the add value, okay? So you know how to, uh, how to buy, when to buy, okay? Because you know this is the, Stocks which you can pay attention, but you need to know when to buy. If you see the J line go up, you can buy. Okay. So this is today's course, and I hope you can understand. And you, if you have any question, you can uh, ask me. Okay. Thank you for attending today's class. Thank you so much. Look at the yellow candle. Look at the yellow candle.